Good morning, Zoe. Good morning. Cheers. I just want to ask you, uh, what are your impression of Texas? Oh, in how many words? <laughs> oh, you got it's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. It's raining right now, just like England, but usually it's warm. And, and uh, I have to say, the people are gorgeous. I've been bicycling a lot here, and every time I pass someone on the bicycle and smile, they smile back. That doesn't always happen in some places of the world, and they look very pleased. So I think the quality of life is good here. Does it make any difference in terms of the area that you're in, of the country, the way you perform? Do you have different songs that you do for different groups? Do you feel different moods with different groups? Or do you kind yeah. of come out with your own thing, or how is that? Well, you know, I have my favorite places I go back to, and I am rather fond of Texas. So the people, they laugh. They do laugh at my jokes, which is always very nice. <laughs> but, and then I love people if they laugh at my jokes. But um, of course it affects your mood because it's give and take. And if I give when I'm performing and no one smiles or responds or claps along or participates, then you don't feel quite so full after the show. So when people give, like last night's show people were giving, the last two nights people have really been giving back, singing along, then you get all full and then you just want to give more. So you feel uh, you do a better show. Have you ever been in an audience where they just did not react at all? What, been performing to one? Yeah, or? Per, yeah I mean performing in an, you know, to an audience. Um, Where yes, I have. I mean, usually these days they respond in a positive manner because I've learned my learned how to encourage people to 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 participate and give them a permission to do it, and it's okay, and and, and it's not embarrassing. But I have cut my teeth in many a pub and restaurant where people are just dining with a lobster bib and more interested in their food. I've performed in campus centres, in uh, universities where people have got their heads in computers and I'm jumping up and down wow. <laughs> and they're doing their homework. Has that and happened uh, lately or no, in the past few No, years? because one that learns to choose one's gigs now. Yes. Because <laughs> as one gets older, one needs a little bit of feedback. <laughs> but you know what? It, all those bumps help you and if you can get through those gigs, well, you're in a better position to do the ones where it's a little bit easier. Do you have a favorite song that you like to perform? Oh, it's different every night. Lately, my one that I've been enjoying is Rotary Phone. Just Rotary Phone. Rotary Phone, just because it's nostalgic about, you know, well, my life in England and, the th and about slowing down. And a lot of my songs kind of say the same thing, I realize. I'm often trying to say the same thing because it's what I'm trying to tell myself as well as share that message in Rotary Phone. It's quite simple, but it sort of says it to me. It reminds me. I heard you on KPFT yesterday and you sang a song. I think it was, I'm too young to be never, old. Never too ne old to be young. Oh, never too yeah, old yeah. to be young. That's an important one too. What was your inspiration for that song? That's my mom. My mom was, is an inspiration for a lot of the songs. She was a wise lady and she always gave me some sage pieces of advice almost without knowing it. Just by being, she made it till 95 and a half and uh, was always playful. And uh, and uh, yeah, that was inspired by her and lots of people that I meet. People who are in the arts or performing or, you know, inspired. They uh, sometimes uh, defy age. You mentioned also that you were kind of a surprise. How old was your mother 51, when you were born? 51. 51. 51. Yeah. It was kind of nice being brought up by older parents. I never had a hard time. People always said, was it difficult? But no, it was lovely. And um, yeah, so I have a lot of older, well, almost everyone's gone now, but lots of old ladies in my village that, you know, I used to go and visit and old aunties. And that must have been nice. Yeah. It's nice. I suppose in a way I kept them young and in a way they, it was nice. It's like going to visit your grandparents all the time. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, it's nice. You know what I mean. It's nice. They give you lots of cups of tea. <laughs> Nitty sweaters. It's alright. With some milk in the tea, right? 
Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so you're getting ready to go uh, to Creative Life, yes, which is a, a church. Yes, early in the morning. It is early. To perform. I was checking in the shower if any sound was coming out, but it was. We, you, we're up till 1.30 last night. Yeah, and the clocks have changed. Clocks, clocks have changed. I might do some Louis Armstrong or Tom Waits. <laughs> 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 have you performed at many churches for the Sunday morning? That seems a little I, I, different. I, it's, it's, well... I'm looking forward to it now I'm awake, but it's not my favorite thing to do because performers perform at night. Right. Um, but, um, but when there's an audience, as I said before, giving to you, and I hear they're a good audience, they I'm are. sure I'll wake up properly. So. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview this morning. That's all right. <laughs> Goodness knows how it's going to look, but take Hello. care. Have a, a great day. Thank you.